in focus. Oh. <laughs> Let me stretch this neck out a little bit. Hi everyone, it's Misty. Welcome to another weigh in and update video. I think this is week 65. I don't know. <laughs> I will leave it in the title down below. If you're new here, I started keto on March 6, 2017 at 425 pounds. Um, I think the last weigh-in or maybe the weigh-in, the last time I weighed in with you guys, I was down to 359 and today I'm weighing in at 364.6 pounds. 364. So I'm up five pounds. The good news is that is all water weight. And the reason I know that is because my feet are swollen. Now, if you've been with me since this journey started last March, you know, and I mentioned several times last year, that my I have edema in the summer. Um, it's at its worst in the summer. Luckily, I haven't been dealing with it as much as I had been in the past, but I've still been dealing with it. And my feet have been swollen. I posted a picture on Instagram a few months, no, a couple of weeks ago, I think. Um, of me in a pair of boat shoes that I had purchased a couple years ago that didn't fit and they fit in that picture and now when I wear them um, I wore them today I can t they don't fit quite as well and um, normally I can see like the veins and the crevices and stuff in my foot and now it's just a smooth surface again the silver lining to all of that is it's not nearly as bad <laughs> as it used to be before my feet would swell like Finstone feet they were huge and the skin would be taut and it would just be so incredibly painful. Luckily, we're not to that area, that level, but still dealing with it. And I, um, it always happens when it gets around 95, 96 degrees here in Texas and it normally lasts all summer. So I'm hoping it doesn't because it's been really aggravating to just, <laughs> it's like I got in the 350s. I want to stay in the 350s, but not in the cards so I did weigh I did weigh in 10 pounds lighter today and um, I went to the doctor to have my one month checkup like the last time I was there was this time in May so I was down 10 pounds on their scale which is good but again <laughs> I want to go back down into the 350s um, as far as keto I've been sticking to plan although it's not doing anything I'm not losing weight my blood sugars aren't coming down it's been really aggravating um, I've had a rough couple of weeks. That's why you guys didn't see an update on Memorial Day. Um, I had all, like I thought I was going to film one, but the Wednesday before that is when I finally went to the physical therapist for the vertigo. And in order for her to figure out like which canal it was and which exercises she needed to do, she did this whole battery of tests. And I wasn't, I was already not taking my mestin in that morning. For those of you who don't know, I have myasthenia gravis, which is a muscle weakening disease. And so my muscles are already weak. Um, I was by myself. I had to go by myself that day and I had to use my walker, which only weighs 10 pounds, but it might as well weigh 200 for, that's how it wears on my muscles. And then she put me through all these tests and then she did my adjustment and it, I was tired and then, I went and had lunch with my friend and again I was using the walker and I had the walker in and out three times and by the end of the day I was just, it was bad and it was so bad that my vision like after around 5 p.m. I couldn't read, I couldn't see, I couldn't read um, and she mentioned when she was doing my testing that I had some tracking issues with my right eye and I, my, the vision in my right eye is the vision that has gone to pot. So I have to go back. She said, you know, get give it a couple weeks and then go back so she can help me um, with building up the muscles in my eye again. And she said that's probably a direct cause by the myasthenia. So yay for that. And then we had plans to go out of state on Saturday. And for those of you who know, <laughs> I've already had one accident where I pooped myself because of the medicine. So now anytime I'm going out of state, I don't take it for a couple of days. So I didn't have it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. And by Friday night, I was in tears because I was just so weak. And my muscles were so 
swollen and so pain like so sore just barely rubbing my hand down my arms was just pure agony and so it was rough so when I got home Sunday I was taking a mastin in every hour because I can take up to eight a day <laughs> it's just like popping them down popping them down and I didn't do anything Sunday I didn't do anything Monday I actually didn't do anything until we went last Friday um, to go grocery shopping and I was just it's been a rough couple of weeks I will say though that the vertigo seems to be stay staying out staying off um, the doctor asked me my doctor asked me today you know how it was going and I said you know I went to physical therapy she adjusted me two times and um, taught Rob he went with me I went the Friday of Memorial Day weekend and he had a long weekend so he went with me that day and she showed him how to do it and sent us home with a printout. So hopefully if it comes back, we can do those um, those exercises right away. And so I haven't been taking the meclizine. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. And I haven't had any. There was one time I had like a whoa, but that's that's the only time. So that's good. Um, other than that, I've been, I got in the pool Thursday of last week, Wednesday of last week, I don't remember what day, and we have a pool, and I have to wait until the water is at least 85, number one, because, um, it's cold. I, my body temperature runs around 97. So when I'm in the pool and it's colder than 85 or 86, it's a popsicle. I'm a popsicle. It's like, <laughs> it's like getting in the coldest water ever of your life, even though it's really not. And the other issue is the longer I'm in the pool, the more my body temperature drops. And we, like we got out of the pool and I immediately got into the hot tub. The issue has been though that I've been like it's been so hard recovering from that weekend that I haven't been able to stay in the pool very long like I can do about 15 minutes of swimming and that's like swimming down to the end waiting for a couple minutes <laughs> swimming back down to the other end and it just makes my arms so tired and then um, we our pool doesn't have a handle to get in and out of the pool so I have to use like a chair and then I have to like push myself up and the back of my thighs have been hurt. Like, I've just been really weak. Just really, really weak. And that has been really hard on me. So, um, yeah. Yes, my blood sugar. I finally saw it under 200 Saturday and Sunday. And that's because I took a shot on Friday, which is probably another reason why, you know, I'm retaining water or whatever. Um, it, I took, like... I don't remember. I took a damn big shot is what I did. And that's just because I'm I'm so frustrated with my blood sugars being so high. And I know that they're going to be high because my white blood count is high. The stir I'm still dealing with the aftermath of that steroid. So it's just really aggravating. But I just got to the point where I was like, I don't want to see 200 on my meter ever again. Unfortunately, I know I will. But so it was 126 last night. I forgot to take it this morning. I was fasting. We got a thunderstorm out of nowhere. I was trying to make sure I got to the doctor. I got soaked anyway. So yeah, it's just a whole bunch of, ugh, it's just been rough. So my goal for this week, and I haven't been tracking. Um, my goal for this week is to get back to tracking. Um, I just, it gives me something else to focus on rather than just focusing on the scale and then focusing on the blood sugar so that's been it's just been ugh. I've just been blah about it <laughs> it's like ah! so with the doctor today he's like I don't know what to put you on next because I've basically been on everything and I was like what about something for weight loss and he he and I talked about it it's not something he's comfortable doing and I what it is is Adipex, and for those of you who've been around, in 1995, FinFin had come onto the market, and Adipex was part of FinFin, and I took FinFin for one month, and it worked. I mean, like, the very first day I took it, 
like my body said I was full after one little piece of like one little chicken nugget or whatever and so it worked really well that way but caused short-term memory loss my mood swings were out of control I couldn't remember anything and I finally took myself off of it and unfortunately <laughs> I have mitral valve damage from it so yay for that so as much as I want to accelerate the weight loss to get help the blood sugars come down, I don't want to resort to something like that. And he didn't want me to either. He's like, he's like, if you beg me, I will. He's like, but I really don't want you to. And I was like, well, I really don't want to either. So, and he's like, but you're, you're down, you know, almost 11 pounds since the last time I saw you. I was like, I know, I know. I said, but I keep gaining and losing the same five or six pounds of this water weight. And I said, I'm just getting really tired and frustrated and flustered and just ready to move on. So that's been, that's been it. And I said, it would be different if I could exercise every day. You know, getting in the pool takes every single ounce of energy that I have. And I've been doing it, but it's just been so, I've just been so weak. <laughs> I was like, stupid myasthenia. And he's like, you're right, it's stupid myasthenia. And I was like, meh. <laughs> So he's testing my thyroid because, again, the Trulicity um, is a sister drug to Victoza. And the Victoza is what, sorry, I have a hair. I went got my hair cut today. The Victoza is the sister drug of Trulicity, vice versa. And the Victoza is what caused me to have thyroid tum um, nodules. So he's testing my A1C. He's testing my red blood count for the anemia because that came back low. Did I mention that? I don't remember if I did. I've struggled, I've had anemia on and off my, probably since I was in my early 20s. Um, the onset was caused by really heavy periods back then. Now I don't even have one, but um, I can tell when my, I can tell when it's starting again because I just get to where I'm so stinking sleepy. So he's testing that, he's testing the calcitonin to make sure the Trulicity didn't, you know, screw up the thyroid and hopefully it didn't. Um, he's testing everything, cholesterol, all the things. So get a work up on that. And as far as going forward on medication, there's really nothing else to take. Like I can't take Janument because it's part metformin and metformin just, it didn't work for me. It worked for a little bit. And then just like a lot of people, you know, you have to move to something else. So I have to keep going low carb, which I've been doing, um, and just, just keep going. That's that's all I can do. Onward, right? Onward, that's my necklace. Onward. So, um, Rob and I are gonna, we're not gonna get in the pool today because we got a huge rainstorm this morning and I know the water is gonna be cold and it's supposed to be a bit cooler today. But hopefully the rest of the week, even like I said, I just even if I can just go fifteen minutes, it I know it'll help with just I just need to be active is what it boils down to. So, and unfortunately, sorry. Unfortunately, I can only do what I can do. So, story of my life, right? Story of my life. So, the good news is the vertigo seems to be on taking care of, in remission, whatever you want to call it. I have the exercise and I have the medication in case it comes back. The physical therapist did say that um, once you've had vertigo, you'll probably have it again. Yay me. Um, I saw a lower blood sugar. I Oh, I'm going to do a separate video, but I found some sugar-free snow cone syrup. That is so... Okay, guys, so the rest of this video is going to have really horrible audio, and I apologize for that. What I've been doing the last couple of updates is filming and recording the um, sound from, from my phone and then merging them together. But my phone, the airdrop isn't working correctly. It keeps stopping. So, and my battery had died <laughs> when I had, I was, anyway, I'm gonna get through the rest of this video. So, like I said, I'm up five pounds. I'm not gonna worry about it. It's the struggle bus. I'm on the struggle bus, <laughs> trying to not let it derail my progress. Um, I just have to keep moving forward, keep going onward, um, etc. So what I was talking about when I the battery died was um, I found some snow cone syrup that I'm going to film a video about and talk to you more about it there um, instead of adding it here. But 
So my goal for this week is just to keep going. Um, I don't have any sort of number in mind. I would love to be back down to 359. I would love to be able to be consistently in the 350s, but I don't know if that's going to happen. And again, if it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, I'm anxious to hear what the blood work is that I should know by Wednesday, I think. Um, and then after that, I'll be able to see it because he uses LabCorp and I have a LabCorp account. So hopefully everything is okay there. Um, I'm just going to keep going about my day. It's almost 1.30. I haven't eaten <laughs> I haven't had anything to drink other than Starbucks before I went to therapy. So I may not have anything to eat until dinner. I haven't decided. Um, that's the one thing I think I forgot to talk about, but I haven't been eating three meals a day. When I was tracking, I was eating three meals a day. But What's been my main focus and the reason why is I want to eat intuitively. And unfortunately, our parents, and not all of them, but growing up, you know, you had to clean your plate. You had to complete. And um, I've seen this even with my brother and my niece where he's like, no, you have to keep eating. And she's like, I'm full. I'm full. And I finally said, I was like, if she tells you she's full, you need to listen to her because that's one of the issues, you know, we are taught at some point in our life to start ignoring your hunger cues and for those of us who are overweight that's kind of what gets us in trouble one of the things that does and least you know at least is that we no longer listen to our body when it says it's full and we just keep adding stuff into it so i one of my goals has been to eat intuitively and so while I may feel a little bit of a headache, I don't think it has anything to do with me being hungry. Um, but yeah, so that's why I haven't been eating three meals a day. I want to eat when I'm hungry. And the only reason why I had a Starbucks this morning is because um, I wanted the fat. I wanted some heavy cream. I don't get butter in it because I get an iced coffee. And like I've mentioned before, it's basically a meal replacement. So I was able to have that because I had some time to kill between getting a haircut and going to see my therapist and all, while all of that is in a one mile radius I didn't want to come home get out of the car like it's expending too much energy <laughs> for me right now so anyway that's it guys um thank you so much for all your comments and for being supportive and you know just being here with me on this journey um it's full of ups and downs peaks and valleys like I said but this I've been on this now what this is June so 15 months, 16 months, math, I don't know, 15 months. Yeah, 15 months. And this is the longest that I have, number one, stuck with something, and number two, kept the weight off. And while I'm still fluctuating, we're, I'm a woman, we're human, we fluctuate like that, um, I know that it's headed in the right direction, and I know that I'm going to reach my goal of 299 by December 31st. So without anything else... And um, I do hope to, I keep talking about it, I'm going to do my Keto Mojo review. Um, I do have an affiliate link that should save you 15% off. I'll try to remember to link that down below. And then I'm going to do a video about the snow cone syrup because I love it. <laughs> so thank you again, guys. I appreciate you. Sorry that it's disjointed. I apologize for the um, audio, but I will see you soon. <laughs> Bye for now.